Pinhead Island visiting Orchid Paul Meyer at her restaurant, One Hot Mama's. Thank you for letting us come. Thank you. And this is a place to come and enjoy incredible classic comfort food with a little bit of a twist. Yes, definitely a little bit of a twist. <laughs> and part of that is because you are a little bit different for a South Carolina barbecue yes, queen. Yes, that is true. Tell um, us a little bit about your past. <laughs> uh, I'm from Chicago originally, but I've been here now for about 23 years. Um, but I'm Filipino, which it's funny because when I go to these competitions or anything, like, or even when I come out of the kitchen and someone says, I want to meet one hot mama. And I come out and they're like, she gets no it's this little filipino lady yeah <laughs> but it is and i think it you know the the love of food and, and the family that i grew around, up around i think it really um, influenced me and in how i like to cook and how i like to feed people so well and i feel like we have a lot in common because you went to an agricultural school too yes, tell me about I, your I, college career i went to a uh, university of illinois in champaign urbana and um and i got my bachelor of science in ag and it's spe and but specializing in hotel and restaurant management so and ended up down here in and Georgia. i ended up here i did a uh, an internship at the hilton resort um it's something else now so it's <laughs> but um but yeah and i ended up loving it and i just ended up staying so well barbecue is of course a you know the specialty of south yes, carolina and yes. and you do a lot of that oh yeah a lot of and a lot of your sauces are inspired by that so let's start with some of the things that you oh, have gosh. here and talk yeah. about them um well you know right there with the wings right there now the um hot asian ones the, we've won four wing fests in a row Whoa. Back to back, yeah. Congratulations. Yes, and thank this, you. And this, you said, is your father's recipe, yeah. the, the, the sauce Yes, is. it is. It was something that, you know, we just kind of grew up around, and I kind of spiced it up a little bit more um, because, you know, I, we were talking about One Hot Mama's. People are expecting a little bit of spice in some of the food. Um, and then on the other side of it, we have the garlic parmesan, which is mm. my kid's favorite, and not spicy. Yeah, so it's, yeah. Really, it's really flavorful. And I know the menu's geared. You have little peppers, so people yes. know exactly what they're getting into. You don't have to worry that you something's going to have too much of a surprise for Absolutely. you. Absolutely. Okay. Um, and even the, you know, the dressing, everything we make is, is fresh and homemade. We, do, we don't buy the sauces. We create them all. And even our blue cheese sauce, um, we use uh, Duke's mayo. Uh -huh, of can't course, eat. yeah. South yeah. Carolina, yeah, break, South you know? Carolina. That's right. <laughs> and um, I really think it makes a difference. And I mean, people love the blue cheese and the ranch dressing. Of course, so, yeah. yeah. And here we've got a sandwich, and what a sandwich we've got. Thank you. It is the Big Daddy. <laughs> um, it is probably one of our most popular sandwiches, and it has our pulled pork, our Texas beef brisket, mm. um, more of the style, yeah. and then um, we put our chipotle mayo, our uh, pepper jack cheese, and then fried onions on top of that. <laughs> you can't go wrong with that sandwich. And drizzled over the top. It's our most popular and requested barbecue sauce. Mm -hmm. So we bring it to every table. That's this one right here. Every and, table gets one. And, and that one has a cute name, I think. Yes, it's um, Perfect 10. Perfect 10. <laughs> <laughs> um, and the yeast roll that we put it on is baked fresh every day. Y'all make your own rolls? Yes, ma'am. We about yes. That? Every morning we make them, um, and then the next day, we, you know, we don't want to waste anything, so we actually tear the weed rolls up and we make it into stuffing the next day. And it's just one of those things that um, everything's like homemade, you know, really truly homemade. Well, and I think you said that y'all had a real history of cooking at home as you grew up. Your yeah. grandparents were there sometimes. Yes. Your mother and father. So, um, so this just was just natural to be feeding people all the time. It really is, and it, and I love having people in the restaurant and seeing them just happy and, and really tasting the foods and especially the tourists that come to visit us they want to have food from South Carolina they, you know they and I think that's why there aren't as many chains just in this area because they really want to try those locally owned and operated restaurants and I believe y'all participate in some of the programs that um, where you try to source locally don't you? oh definitely um, we are definitely a South Carolina certified restaurant um, and really that's uh, it's you know 25% of your menu has to be made up of items from South Carolina so um, so even for instance um, you know, there are onions. They're from South Carolina, um, and plus it's season. Uh, this beautiful salad here oh, is, is our, um, it has kale from South Carolina, um, hey, and mm -hmm. uh, the shrimp. Now, even though it's out of season right now, because in December was the end of sh white shrimp season, um, we do try and stay always North Carolina or South Carolina shrimp. So, um, so but, these are Atlantic Ocean yeah, shrimp. The, uh, yeah, these, I mean, it's just one of those things that we just try to try our best, especially if it's in season came to the end of the season, um, we try to have it on our plates. Um, but yeah, definitely, and uh, even the wings are from South Carolina too. Yeah. Are they really? <laughs> yes, ma'am. <laughs> well, you've done a good job sourcing well, we locally. Try, we, we definitely try, um, you know, to, to just have, we try to support the local community and, and the state, um, and I think that's what's so important about it. Um, 
ribs, oh, just my absolute favorite. <laughs> and they look like they will just fall apart. Yes, ma'am. And then they with do. it, I see a lot more representation of South Carolina yeah, food. Yeah, absolutely. Well, collard greens, I mean, it's collard greens. Our state vegetable. It is, and it's wonderful. And it's funny because people always say to me, What do you know about collard greens? <laughs> so, you know what? I, I, uh, I've been in the kitchen in South Carolina for a long time. I've met a lot of different cooks. And I will tell you, Miss Marilyn, she's lived here for probably about 25 years. Mm -hmm. um, since, I mean, I've known her out of the 25 she lived here, I've known her for probably the 22. So, um, and I just kind of watched her and, and sh as she was cooking and I kind of watched and learned and she taught me how to make collard greens. Uh -huh. So absolutely, and you know, um, the even the cornbread is Adlu corn muffin mix so we just yeah, yeah and they really have great products so mm -hmm. it's really cool but the ribs themselves look like they will Those, are, are they falling apart oh they're definitely gonna fall off that if they don't someone's gonna be in trouble <laughs> But those are, yeah, that's, that's probably one of our most popular items, and um, and people just love them. And we'll, we'll get to dig into them later. But, <laughs> but yeah, the, and the sauces we make all here in-house, including, like, the mustard barbecue. And, again, the mustard is from South Carolina. So. Fresh, fresh, fresh. Yeah, I think it's important. I think it's, um, I don't think uh, things that are coming frozen, I mean, you know, sometimes you have to do True. it. But um, I think the fresher you can get it, I think that's what people are really looking for. Well, you've been honored this year by the South Carolina Department of Agriculture. Yes. You've been chosen as one of the chef ambassadors. Yes, ma'am. Tell us um, what that means to you and what you try to do as a chef ambassador. Well, um, it's, it's very exciting and it's a big honor. Um, it's really trying to get people to learn more about, one, our area, because I'm, I'm, I'm representing the low country Certainly. area. Um, letting people both in the state learn about what we have to offer, what kind of food we have, um, what's there out there for tourism. But then also we're going to be able to go out to different um, events in both Georgia um, and, and teach them about it and try to get some, you know, try to get some dollars into, this, into the state and yes. really uh, support uh, the local farmers, the local restaurants, the local entrepreneurs, um, and just really, really show them what South Carolina is all about. Orchid Paul Meyer, we have had a wonderful visit with you Thank and you. your charming staff here today. Thank you. Um, if people would like to know more about One Hot Mamas, what's the best way for them to find out about uh, you? Definitely social media will, will give you all the information, uh, whether it's Facebook or Twitter or Instagram, um, we are on there and um, we are always posting different things. And of course we have a great website, onehotmamas.com. You can check that out and even better, just come and visit us. <laughs> come up 95 or down 95 and come to see us at, on Hilton Head Island. Well, thank you again. And now I think it's time to sample some of these wonderful foods. It definitely is, all right. There you go. <laughs>